Hey everyone, welcome back to The Plan Show. My name is Rose and today we're gonna go on a little adventure to find a special rare plant. Before I drive there, the question of the week came from actually several of you asking where do I buy this specific rare plant? My first advice is to check out your local garden centers. There are some that have just like boring, no offense, just regular plants. And then there are others that like to carry the more rare stuff. And usually the people who buy the plants are then also like plant nerds and they're into it. So check out which of those garden centers is one of those plant nerdy places and talk to them and ask them questions and get to know them because it's really nice to get to know people in your local plant community. And then the second part of that answer is to check web shops. And I'm going to be making a separate video of this for my favorite web shops in Europe. But there are a lot, a lot of web shops who sell amazing rare plants. Sometimes it's a little bit more expensive than the garden centers, but definitely worth checking out. If it's a plant that you've wanted for ages and you've saved up money, then why not buy it on a web shop that gives you good quality and good service as well. There is also the option of buying them on Facebook groups, which I have no experience with, but it might also be a nice way to connect with people in your local area. So I definitely recommend that as well. And of course, by going to plant shops or swapping plants with people through Instagram, for example, it's really nice to be able to offer something that you already have and might not need or have doubles of or triples and then to get other plants in return. I'm actually doing that later this weekend. I'm getting some plants from Micha and he's getting my Monstera uh, Spurperu or Karstenianum. And I'll make a special video of that once I get them. But now let's drive to Amsterdam. I got some really exciting news this morning. So I'm off to Amsterdam to check out some really, really cool plants that I haven't seen in person yet. Let's go. I just made it to Amsterdam to the Intratein, blip, lock my car, because I heard this morning that they have Thai constellations in. Let's go check it out. I don't know, she said they were going really fast, so they might already be sold out. Here they are. First time ever seeing Thai constellations IRL and touching Thai constellations, ha ha ha, so cool. I'm not, Honestly, not a big fan of them. I didn't have them on my wish list or anything like that, but it is really cool to see them in person for the first time. By the way, I'm literally standing behind the desk of the people who work there because that's where all the Thai constellations were and I really just went straight for them. I then afterwards said hello to the people who work there. So really sorry for taking over your desk for a minute, girls. I just wanted to see all the different plants, all the different ones that they had available. Luckily, they reserved one for me because they are already sold out again. Apparently, there's some Facebook group that spreads the news and then they just rush here. But let's look at the other plants as well because they have a lot of cool plants at the moment. Here's an overview of the big plant section. There's some rubber trees and some ficus lorata, the fiddle leaf figs and fatsia. I'm trying to create some more overview images because it gives you a better view of the shop. Here's a huge philodendron. Philodendron, what was it? Green Beauty, 45 euros. Some stunning Calathea mosaica, really big leaves, look at that, next to my hand. And then this one was, I hadn't seen before. It's called Calathea sylvia. I really like the look of the leaves with the little pink lines. Some anthurium, also with pink lines. Some pinstripey calathea. These were 16 euros, called white star. Some zebrina and spatophyllum. Big, big orbifolias. These leaves were huge, insanely big. And I love the little tubes of new leaves. These were 16 euros. And then some of the Wars of Wikii, or however you pronounce it. These were 25. I love the velvet leaves on these, so pretty. And they were actually flowering, which I haven't seen before. Here's the hanging wall. 
There's some regular plants in there like ivy and spider plants, but also a huge Scindapsis pictus, literally like almost two meters long because it was hanging all the way down to the ground. This is 18 euros. I've noticed that this shop is not necessarily the cheapest. Here is some Brazils, by the way, but they do have a very consistent amount of really cool plants. The Brazils were 13 euros. Here's an overview of this part of the shop. I love the look of this shop. It looks very like you're in a jungle. Some cool looking Fittonia types. These are Superba Lemon, four euros. And then some Begonia and some Syngoniums with the little pink lines. I like those more than the others. Some Clevia flowering. These remind me of my grandma. Very old fashioned plants in my eyes. And some Schifflera that actually looked a little bit neon. They're called Golden Amare or something, seven euros. Pretty funky looking. And then this was some kind of Cordeline. I don't know exactly what type, but I thought it looked funky. And these really cool begonias. I love the begonias with the black and then the dots. One of my favorite things in this shop is this living wall that they created that's not for sale. It includes all sorts of cool plants. And then over here, some Skindapsis Moonlight, Moonshine, Trubii. <laughs> I keep messing up that name. There's some more. I really like this flower, even though I have no idea what the plant is, and it's definitely not an aeroid. Some Monsteris pepperu and some neon epipronyms. Some Calathea, different kinds. And actually, I found this little plant. I don't know what it is, so I put a poll on Instagram. It's three euros. And actually, the manager of the houseplant section also didn't know if there was a difference with regular Adansoni. You guys on Instagram said it's either a narrow form Adansonii or a Acuminata, which I've never heard of. Here's some more Calathea, Monstera, this cute, cute baby Calathea and medallions. And then here were the other Adansoni that I was talking about. They're much bigger and they're also three euros. That's what got me interested in the small ones. Here are some weird looking plants with pink undersides. I've never heard of this uh, species before. Strobilantes or something, 17 euros. And then on this side, more huge mosaica and a big Zebrina, really nice. And then smaller Zebrinas. These, did I check the price? Yes, 10 euros for the small ones. Always two points of growth in these pots. And then this weird looking tree that I just had to run over to because it looked so weird. What is that? It reminds me of something Madagascarian. Look at the little leaves at the top. And then spikes, ooh, that went really fast, sorry. Spikes all over the big stem. Pachopodium lamarai, it's called. Woo, on this side, some seriously big uh, Cupria alocasia. And I don't say that easily because my own is huge, but look at that leaf. That is way bigger than mine and than I've ever seen them. Two points of growth in every pot, just like the Zebrina. Some medallions. I wanted to go to the other side to see the price of the Cuprias. Cuprias? Red secrets? Red velvet, I think it said on the label here. Look at them. Oh, I love these plants so much. They are 45 euros and they're huge pots. Look at these huge jungle boogies, philodendron, 55 euros. Look at all the inflorescences. Whoa, these are really big. And then I once again found ring of fires. So cool to see. These are 40 euros and they're a little bit smaller than the one that I bought here. There are several of them. And then these are philodendron camouflage, which I've seen on Instagram a few times lately. These were 33 euros. I wasn't really in love with them, to be honest. Here's a few more ring of fires. Really nice looking. That's a new leaf right there. And then this one, I don't know if you can see that has a pink leaf. Let me lift it up in front of the green. Do you see how pink that is? That was crazy, but it was only this one stem. And through Instagram, actually, through some one of you, 
I found out that that is probably due to very high light. I was very confused by it at first, as you can see, but it looks so stunning. I loved it. And then I found some philodendron lemon limes. I think these are like 35 euros. Oh, 40 right now. And these really weird guys, what are they called? Camer plants and green. Okay. With really, really chunky stems and then really dainty little leaves. Look at that chunky stem in the back there. What is that? And there's one more. Here are the camouflages again. And then I'm walking around to the other side, completely skipping that weird looking Florida-like plant to go see these variegated anthurium with very different ways of variegation. That one even has pink lines in it. These are just called anthurium and they're 45 euros. Here's some more weird looking philodendron types. And then on this side, the big scissors this color, this plant was huge. And it looks so pretty, the new leaves with the red veins on the adorable new leaves. Very, very cute. This is really, really big. This is 70 euros. And there's three full stems in there. And they just climb all over the poles that they got. And then the silver swords and some different philodendrons on the other side. Some begonia that looked very nice. And then this adorable little begonia, Tamaya or something? Tamaya, 18 euros. And you guys actually told me this on Instagram. Sorry for asking. I actually filmed it. I just forgot. It has a little flower in there. And then on here is more of the angel wing type begonias, the bigger ones. Some squamiferum. These were about 10 euros, I think. Yep, 10 euros. More begonia. These were really different than the other ones, but still looked like maculatas. So that didn't make sense to me. They're much more dainty and small. So are they a different species or something or a hybrid? I don't know, but they're adorable. Then we went to the Birkins. The, they're actually called White Measure here and they looked pretty good. I already have two that I'm very happy with, so I didn't need one. Here's some begonias. <clears throat> and these huge maculata, look at the size of that leaf. Whoa, that was really big and the red is very bright. More squamiferum, very nice looking leaves. This are These are the bigger pots. These are 20 euros and they're definitely bigger and more points of growth in there. Then some funky looking Sansevieria and succulents, more Sansevieria. And then these little ones, I've seen them before, but I don't know the name by heart. Portuglacaria afra. Sounds interesting. <laughs> it looks very succulenty for such a small plant. Over here more oh actually some hoya lisa australis lisa which didn't have a price on them oh they did seven euros which were seven euros very nice i love the color on those and then also some hoya carnosa tricolor princess something <laughs> i don't know exactly some more hoya australis Lisa with like half non-variegated. I couldn't find the price anywhere because I didn't know where to look. It's on the sticker actually instead of on a separate thingy. Here is some Hoya Linearis, which were 10 euros. And then these funky looking things, they look like they've gotten a sunburn. <laughs> some Hoya, I would say Publicalic Splash, but I don't know. They call it Publicalix, 18 euros. These pots are actually really, really big, really full. Nice looking Hoya, even though those are pretty regular here and I'm more into the weird looking red Hoyas. Here's some Hindu ropes or Hoya Carnosa something. What was it? Something crumply. I forgot. There's about two strings in a pot and 
compacta, that's it, and it's nine euros. Hoya Carnosa Compacta. And the variegated version of that plant that I just showed you, the stems are red and then the leaves are um, yellow and green. Some bigger Hoya Australis pots that I still couldn't find the price on. Oh wait, it said there, I think it was 11 euros. These are pretty chunky and I love the pink on the new leaves, but then do I really need it? No, I don't. Would it piss my boyfriend off if I bought it? Yes, it would. <laughs> Here's some whale fin sensivarius. These are really, really small. And then they also have a bigger kind back here. And some different funky looking sensivaria. I really like this peperomia. I still keep forgetting its name, but it looks very nice and I would love the orange version of that one day, but like the really, really orange one. Peperomia Hope with stems that were actually really attached to each other, so that looked really cool. Look at that. Grown together like Siamese twins. 12 euros. Here are the orange ones that I was talking about, but these aren't as orange as I would like them. These are a bit more brownish. So I'm looking for the, the really bright orange ones that I saw at Global Garden a while ago. But I mean, my house is pretty full, so I'm not in a rush. Another Peperomia type, about eight euros. Some Pilea Glauca that I'm not gonna bother with. And then lots of the mini plants. I love looking at this section because there's always something funky in here. Always something to find. I don't know what these are. I thought they were begonia, but they actually look different. Their growth pattern is different. But of course, because it's the small plant section, it doesn't say. It's really cute though. And then these strings of something. With on this leaf, there was some silver on there that I tried to rub off, but it's actually on the leaf. It's not something that was painted on or something. I don't know what it is. It's weird. Some very grassy, bob bobbly things. Very cute. And Peperomia prostrata. Saxifrasias, Seropesia woodii. Some mini bamboo Bambino alocasia. This one was really adorable too. I love the color on the leaves. Very, very bright patterning. I normally don't show you pots, but I decided to show you these pots because look at that little hedgehog and the blue pots are adorable. Ah, oh, and they have a unicorn over here. How cute is that? And some pigs. These are so cute. I found some orchids with variegated leaves, which I haven't seen before on these types of orchids. Some funky ferns. Especially over here, these lovely ferns with like the more red starting leaves. And then I found these two big Diefenbachia reflectors with the velvet neon leaves. These are just stunning. And I would like to own one of these. They're actually really cheap. I think these were like, yeah, eight euros. But I heard that these are very toxic to pets. And right now my, my cat is actually sick. So I'm being extra careful with any plants that might harm them. Some big hanging plants. Lots of Ripsalis over here. Different kinds. They look a lot like my pencil cactus that I call a pencil cactus. But it's probably not. Some form of Alocasia. Amazonica they said. They have red stems so they look very nice. And some Brazils. And then over here I found my favorites that I cannot keep alive. Anthurium clarinervium. These pots have such big stems in them. Here are the smaller, more affordable versions. I think these are 25 euros. Yes. And they're so stunning, but why do mine always die? Some begonia. This was uh, 9 euros. <laughs> that thing kept going in the way. Salsa. And then this really silvery one. That was five euros. It doesn't say a name. Some little rubber trees. And then these cool Rex begonia. 
I really actually love this black with the pink dots. Cumbia, Begonia Cumbia, five euros. How pretty is that? And then one of the other people who was there for the Thai constellation showed me her plant. The stems were like sugar canes with a variegation in them. So pretty. This was the most beautiful Thai constellation I've ever seen. But I'm also really excited about the one I picked for my friend because as you can see here, there's a new leaf. Ooh, a bit wobbly, but there's a new leaf right there. And then it has extra points of growth. See that little bot there, then on the front, and then here in the corner as well, there's one more fresh point of growth. And then they showed me their Zebrina variegata that they found for their own collection. So that was not for sale, but it was really, really cool to see. I actually love that leaf. <laughs> you can tell by my happy face right there. Had to end with this photo where the plant is in better light and my face looks even more ridiculous. So I bought a Thai constellation. Ah, it's actually not for me, but for a friend. It was still really exciting to pick the best one and to look at all the beautiful plants. I'm still a little bit full of adrenaline. Like every time that I've been to this Intratein in Amsterdam, their collection is amazing. The people there are so lovely and yeah, definitely worth a visit. Today's shout out goes to Annika from Plant Life DK. She has a lovely Instagram and an amazing terrarium with lots and lots of beautiful plants. But she also made one YouTube video so far and I kind of want to push her to make a few more because I'd love to see more videos of her plants and of her lovely face. So Annika, if you're watching this, make more videos for us. I'll help with explaining the editing and all that stuff if you need help. Check her out on Instagram and on YouTube. I'll link the things below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, just like I did making it, leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more planty videos. Thank you so much and see you next time. Bye!